good afternoon children today's practical assignment is from section d that is potting and we will study whole mount of enta amoeba histolytica the trophozoite stage when the school reopens we'll be studying this by means of a permanent slide so on a new sheet you will write down today's date 23rd of august practical number as usual in pencil because this would be changing towards the end while making index the object in black color to identify the permanent slide of whole mount of enta amoeba histolytica this is a scientific term so you will underline so enta amoeba histolytica trophozoite trophozoite we will not underline because this is the infective stage of the organism with the help of distinguishing characteristics and a well labeled diagram so this would be your heading children and then something your work goes like this your heading whole mount of entamoeba histolytica trophozoite the permanent slide and from page number 121 right in your practical books this is page 121 your writing comments begin from here the distinguishing characters from point number 1 onwards up till number 8 this i'll be sending you and when you come to diagram on the left side you will draw this diagram of the enta amoeba histolytica and below the diagram something like this you can write the classification what is given here you can see the classification given which can be written below the diagram something that the work should go like this do not forget to underline the headings because this is a scientific term of the organism that you're going to talk about whether you write here or you write in the genus it should be well underlined now let us discuss this we have recently studied the chapter on diseases the we are still on with the chapter right right now but this topic was recently completed on amoebiasis now this organism enta amoeba enters our body through contaminated food and water and the place of infection it infest the upper part of colon that is a large intestine cecum colon and rectum if you remember so the middle part, portion of large intestine and the lower part of small intestine causing frequent diarrhea or constipation then this may also attack the intestinal wall destroy the mucosa or the lining and feed upon the red blood cells tissue debris that is the waste and bacteria it causes ulcers or abscess in the intestinal wall and the ulcer sometimes burst releasing the blood and mucus which comes out with the stool causing amoebic dysentery right so this is what your practical study is all about now remember the organism has two forms in the life history stages the first form is what you call as the trophozoite the a1 you are going to study in practical the first only trophozoite also called as the magna this is the bigger stage right and the other stage is minuta you can see it's the smaller one also called precystic so magna called trophozoite and minuta called the precystic in the practical for today we are going to study the trophozoite stage only not this at all right so trophozoite is what this is the active uh, feeding stage and the pathogenic stage to man whereas the other one is non feeding and non pathogenic so this sometimes the patient has it but will not show the symptoms at all but because this is the active uh, feeding stage and pathogenic that means causing the disease and in rare cases it becomes very very fatal because when it causes the ulcers and the bursting then oozing out of blood with the mucus with the stool right this is what is the uh, most characteristic of symptoms of amoebiasis the disease right so what are the symptoms the mucus passes out with abdominal pain nausea flatulence bowel irregularity fatigue and headache and the only preventive measure is to wash the hands before taking the meals protection of food and water from flies and cockroaches proper sanitation of public areas proper disposal of sewage and human feces raw vegetables should be soaked in kmno4 potassium permanganate before use and proper cooking cooking measures to destroy the cyst that means a uh, pathogen in the cyst form 
Treatment, if at all the person is found infected, then there are medicines like fumagillin, teramycin, oreomycin, etc. So this is your work of study children. A little theory, I found it necessary to revise before I could just brief you up for the practical. I'll be sending you this diagram from page 121 and the comments from point number 1 to point number 8 along with the classification that you will draw uh, right down below the diagram. This work should be done today, right? The same thing has been explained here. The slide, how it is named Entamoeba histolytica, it's a microscopic monogenetic. That means it completes the life history stage in one host, that is human being, endoparasite of the colon in humans causing intestinal amoebiasis. Three different forms have been mentioned. Trophozoite, the infective stage, which you are studying. Then the precystic, that is the second one, that, that is non-feeding. And the cyst or the cystic form, which enters the body by means of contamination. This occurs in complete life cycle in the three phases. Trophozoite, also called magna, is mostly active and motile. And the feeding form, causing amoebiasis. The same thing, what is being explained, found in mucosa and submucosa of colon of humans. The plasma lemma is thin, elastic and semi-permeable. Which plasma lemma? We are talking of this outer boundary. is thin, elastic and semi-permeable. The cytoplasm, as you can see, is divided into two regions. Outer is ectoplasm, inner is endoplasm. What is the difference? Ectoplasm is agranular or without the granules. Whereas endoplasm is granular and you can see there are large number of granules, right? Then what you can also see is various food vacuoles, right? Then there is a nucleus here. Contractile vacuole cannot be seen, children. As you can see, there is no con contractile vacuole at all, right? So the plasma lemma is thin, elastic, semi-permeable and the cytoplasm remains differentiated into outer agranular ectoplasm and inner granular endoplasm. The endoplasm contains a nucleus and food vacuoles. Contractile vacuole, however, is lacking. The parasite moves with the help of broad and blunt pseudopodium, that means false feet. Pseudo means fall, podia means feet, which is developed at the anterior end. So this is the pseudopodium single blunt structure right and this helps in the movement of the organism then finally the precystic or minuta is comparatively smaller spherical non-motile and non-feeding form it is similar to trophozoid but does not produce any disease food vacuole and contractile vacuoles however are absent so just now i explained you how the minuta is the non-feeding stage and the non-pathogenic stage Though this is similar to trophozoite, that is this one, but this will not produce any disease, right? And this is your work for today, children. I'll be sending just now one simple diagram with proper labelings. No figure numbers at any stage, children. Please do not write, right? This will be the only heading and write complete name, Entamoeba histolytica and start writing with the classification and the comments in eight points. So that's all for just now. Your assignment date I'll be posting today's 23rd, 24th, 25th and so 26th by night by 10 o'clock you should be posting your assignments right for submission. That's all. Thank you.